Hello YouTube, welcome to this next episode of, um, well let's just talk about knives and tools. So in this episode we're going to cover a few um, new items. Um, one of the things that I want to actually discuss is multi-tools, um, including a review of this Calibre multi-tool from Cape Union Martin, South Africa. Um, I know one other South African has reviewed these. I've added something to the set which actually makes it a little bit more practical. Um, from the Leatherman collection and uh, yeah so we're gonna get a closer look at this little guy um, lower down and see what we think of it so let's jump into that in the meantime so the pouch first of all what I do like about it which is a little bit different is it actually has this quite substantial metal clip which means you can remove it and clip it back onto your belt no problem the pouch does close quite nicely and it doesn't feel terrible actually it's got a bit of velcro over here a bit small but uh, yeah so inside you get the tool. I've added a bit extender and I'll show you why a bit later. But let's just have a look at the tool. So here you've got the Calibre Multi-Tool. It um, feels quite sturdy and quite solid. It does have a little bit of wiggle on it, which I'm not kind of used to. The main portion of these multi-tools, of course, is the pliers. As you can see, we've got some replaceable pliers. Uh, well, replaceable cutters on these pliers. This is spring-loaded. But it's definitely not as thick as your general sort of Leatherman tools, etc. But for light duty work, etc., it's probably going to do pretty well. While we've got it open, let's just have a look at some of the tools inside here. So there you've got three tools on this side. You've got your can opener here, a smallish flat screwdriver, a medium flat screwdriver, bottle opener. Um, if you actually have a look there on the can opener, You'll see it's got a little cutout. That's actually a little wire stripper for um, stripping back wire. And then of course here you've got a strap cutter or box cutter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just as a matter of interest, these tools do lock and you actually have to push in a little button over here to disengage and put them away. Then on the other side, you've got an awl and you've got the star screwdriver. And one of the reasons why I went with this uh, Leatherman set on here is it's almost a perfect fit to go on there and then you can drive your normal bits etc from here it does come with a rather funny small maybe a number one phillips screw, screwdriver on it but um, as soon as you add this on there fits quite tight doesn't even fall off quite easy you can pop, pop, pop your leatherman bits in or normal standard quarter inch bits and you can drive them no problem and again like i said these are locking tools, so pop your screwdriver out, pop your bit driver on, and you're good to go. You can drive your screws no problem at all. Actually works quite lacquer. Now, just something else about this tool, which is um, pretty cool actually, is the other tools on here are generally able to use and open we're going to close the tool up and everything else is accessible on the outside meaning you've got your knife blade also locking with the small little liner lock over here it's a bit of a Wernclyffe, Wernclyffe uh, cleaver type blade but um, quite substantial it's not razor sharp but it's sharp enough to get the job done decent size it'll work and you flip it around the other side you've got a nice outdoor saw not quite as aggressive as the Victorian Ox, but um, again, we will get to testing this out in upcoming reviews, etc. And not bad. Again, locking. Then on this side, yeah, probably one of the better scissors I've seen on a multi-tool. Um, Spring-loaded. It's got this little nub which sticks out over here, which prevents you from sort of stabbing into something or whatever the case may be. So that just helps you to lift up when you're busy cutting again locking put it away and the last tool you've got a file and a ruler so the file's not very aggressive um, but uh, yeah it's it'll do the work again locking tool and that's pretty much it so there you have what the caliber multi-tool so I think they call this the t16 or the t17 it's not terrible complete metal construction no weak points etc like i said the pliers is actually spring loaded it's substantial but just to show you guys something 
this is a little Leatherman Rev, which is a small uh, multi-tool. And if you have a look at that, you'll see the Rev is actually a little bit more substantial than this tool. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a little thing to take note of if you're going to do any heavy sort of pliering or something this may not hold up but um, as a multi-tool to throw in your camping bag or whatever the case may be by all means this is definitely going to do the job for you quite well and uh, it's definitely worth the money these are for sale i think they want special at cape union mart for a couple of hundred bucks like i can't even remember 600 bucks or something like that uh, 600 south african rands which means you can have a substantial multi-tool 600 bucks pouch all in and then for a few hundred bucks more you get a little bit driver set and you can select a couple of bits which you can carry with you in here and what's best of all i had to cut the top of this uh, bit driver set out because otherwise the pouch doesn't close perfectly pop it all in and you've got a self-contained little pouch which you can clip on your belt or your bag or whatever and uh, there you have it guys so there's for a very quick first look at the Calibre T16 multi-tool. Um, hope to get some more of these for review, but obviously everything costs money, so in time. Um, great little tool, not terrible for a budget tool if you're just looking for something to have. Um, and possibly could do quite well in a lot of environments, depending what you're wanting to do with this tool. If you don't have any Leathermans or you can't afford anything fancy, Go out and grab one of these it's better than uh, the two 300 rand tools you can get um, at a lot of stores but that's it for now everybody and until next time take care